So this is the Tektronix AFG31052, uh, 50 megahertz arbitrary waveform generator, box contents, standard USB lead, two 50 ohm BNC leads, a uh, little compliance and safety instructions sheet, the actual certificate of calibration, um, and then behind that is the licenses, the software licenses that are installed at the factory, um, suitable mains lead, and then the actual waveform generator itself. And that's all that arrives in the box. The box is a standard Tektronix cardboard box with the foam padding for the instrument. And then all the accessories were in their own little cardboard box situated inside that. So the actual unit itself, this looks to be a pretty good build quality on this as I've uh, looked around it. I've not seen any issues around the case or any of the connectors. All the way around the gap is even between the front fascia and the rear case. Um, uh, so at the front here you've got the main screen, touch screen, a USB port for memory sticks, obviously got the two output connectors, uh, one for each channel and the selection buttons for them. Um, you've then got uh, triggering input and output which is TTL. Rest of the controls up above this uh, which we'll get into later. Obviously mains input, GPIP connector, USB host connector, LAN connector and then you've got external reference input and output for syncing with other units and then modulation control um, and input for each channel and then you've got this add-in connector here which is for adding another waveform onto the channel 1 output which will be quite interesting I uh, hope to do some tests with that and that is pretty much it apart from obviously your earth screw over there if you need it, and a Kensington lock okay so we'll switch her on Okay, so that's the main boot that's been done. It always starts up in this main screen. The only way I've found of getting into either of these modes is via the touch screen. I haven't found a control on here that allows me to get to either of these. Okay, so for general operation, go to the basic, and then you've got access to both of the channels. Um, you can select waveform on here. And you can also select waveform along with any of these buttons up here. Let's see the output mode. Along here again you've got the buttons repeated up here for that. And then you can select each one, change between them. Frequency period again you've got the same down here. And then once you've got into one of the actual values you can change that with the rotary control here or you can type in and get the figure that way again you can either move to either of these to go on to the next functions or you can uh, click on the actual screen and get whichever one you want same to go over to channel 2, you can just come over to this side and start changing them. <laughs> 